Amanda Padilla. I'm a makeup artist and today I'm gonna teach you how to do the J-Lo look. Focusing on her beautiful cheekbones, beautiful skin, and show you how to make it your own. We moisturize her face because beautiful makeup starts with beautiful skin. We cover the eye bags with a concealer that is maybe one to two shades lighter than her skin tone. This helps add dimension to your face. So usually, we put our highlights in places what, that we want to bring forward. So we don't like the eyes to look sunken. That's why we made it a little lighter here. We want the nose to be pronounced, the bridge of the nose. So we just put a tiny bit of highlight there. And then we could also add a little bit here. Maybe a tiny bit here at the cupid's bow. So next, we're gonna even out her skin. We're just gonna use a light tinted moisturizer on her, all over the face. Then we go over the part that we highlighted, just so it blends in perfectly with the rest of the foundation. We set the concealer and foundation just with a little a dusting of translucent powder. It locks the foundation and the concealer in place. Let's prep the eyelid by applying concealer on the lid. This helps um, the eyeshadow stay on all day and will really help the color come out. We're gonna stick with neutral colors. I'm gonna use a shimmery taupe color on your eyelid. So using a flat brush, we just put it here and blend it outwards. You should use a color that's very close to your natural skin tone. I would say just go one or two shades dark. Using a shimmery color makes the blending very easy. Jelo is also known for her really long lashes, so we're applying brown eyeliner at the base of her lashes to make it look fuller and thicker. Okay, let's define the eyes by just like darkening it at the corners. We're opening up her eyes and we're gonna tie in the top with the bottom by using the same eyeshadow we used, just blending it in. Let's curl your lashes. This is super important. Every girl must do this every day. Okay, then let's put two coats of mascara. It's a beautiful color that brings the focus of the makeup to the eyes. You get a mid-sized blush brush. When you do contour, you want it to look like a shadow. So stay away from orange colored bronzers. So we start here, like right a tiny bit under the cheekbone. So you just go like this. And then you'll notice that the brush lifts off where it's supposed to. So don't worry about it. Just keep a light hand and go like that. You do a letter C shape along here. That also helps bring the focus to your eyes. You can use your wedge sponge again. Blending will be your best friend for contouring. You can see the difference. This one, it's really emphasized. And this one, it's just a little bit flatter. With the same blush brush, we'll just add a little bit of color here to the apples of her cheeks. And adding a little bit of shimmer right here above the cheekbones gives the illusion of very, very healthy, dewy skin. So what I like to do is, I put the lip gloss on first. Like I want a pigmented lip, but I want it to look like really soft and full and kissable. But the best way to apply lipstick is by using a flat square brush. So in completing the J-Lo look, you want to use a nude lipstick with a lot of sheen, a lot of shine.
So this is the final product. As you can see, Erica has a very multi-dimensional face. There's no flatness to it. This was achieved through highlight and contour. So here you go with a few simple steps. You can achieve the JLo look by yourself.